Okay, guys, I think I think I got this down, but uh, I want to see just in case. All right, all right, all right. I think I got it down. Hold on. I got I think maybe half of the melody right, or at least whatever I got from that thing. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, I need to do it in tempo, tempo as well, so I can't like pause or whatever. All right, let's try this one more time. <clears throat> Oh, damn it. Ah, damn it. Oh, my God. This is really harder than it sounds, especially in a hot day. My hands are goddamn slippery. All right, one more time, one more time. Damn it. Hold on, what's that last bone again? Okay, okay, one more time, one more time, okay, one more time, I promise. One more time, again, sorry about that, I sorry for breaking my promise, but uh, I promise this time. Oh, damn it. One more time, Nick, again! I got it! Yeah! Alright! Welcome back to the Let's Play, guys, part wherever the fuck we're at. Uh, so we got the melody thing here. Oh my god, my ring finger really hurts now! Uh, I think I gotta stop, I lay out in the practicing with the guitar thing. Um, but yeah, that was, um... Learning that on the spot. Uh, mission accomplished, I guess. Uh, so, we're supposed to go back to the desert. Or, we're going back to third. Let's go right to the desert, although I have no idea how. Like, isn't there, like, a fucking, um... Like, ghost that's blocking the way? Or have we just not passed that area yet? Whatever, we're going through there. And we're going to Forsyth. Holy shit, two butterflies? Really? Thanks, dude. Alright. Don't know why the two butterflies didn't show up later on, but all right, I'll take that now. Oh shit, they're running away now. Perfect. All right, more butterflies. We should. Do we have everything healed up? Everyone's healed up. Everyone got the proper PP too. All right, so we don't need that butterfly basically. In other words, basic waste of time. <laughs> Sorry, the enemy's gonna uh, in here gonna run away too. Yes, they will. Okay, awesome. Yeah, you better. Well, we <laughs> we tried to. Run away, but didn't really happen that much. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll beat the shit out of them. As long as we don't have, like, a mushroom on our head or something. Because I, I remember that's what the mushroom head does, right? Well, we didn't really... Okay, whatever. Cora, you deal with that. Yeah. And I guess the mushroom attacks. We'll take the risk. Unless the Lex attack... Oh, never mind. Fuck, Marvin now shales feels funny. That's fine, we... If you get, like, a doctor, and I think there's a doctor in, uh the uh saturn village so we should be able to fix that problem up for marvin all right so marvin how now has a mushroom on his head shit I'm not sure that affects us anyway i hope it doesn't all right is there a second way to go down no we have to go inside this cave at least now we have a shortcut and we don't have to go travel all the way back to the fucking uh factory or secret base as they called it Huh, oh boy, alright. Yeah, this has been a long journey, holy shit. How many parts did we play through already? I think this has got to be like part 30-something, right? Yes. Yay, all fixed up, but... Doesn't the doctor usually, like, give us money for mushrooms or something? I guess this is a different case for him, the Saturn guy. They just heal up everything and... Don't want, like, mushrooms there are for perfectly furfurless. Furfurless. Whatever the fucking word is. Hmm. Goddamn, the cockroach still has some balls, though. Mushrooms and plants? No, they run the fuck away from us, but this goddamn cockroach? You got major balls, but unfortunately, that balls is gonna betray you. Should not ever trust your instincts? Sometimes your instincts can lead to your downfall and potential death. And hopefully that cockroach learned his lesson. Except he's dead now, or I guess in this case, tamed. <laughs> Whatever. I'm surprised how we're not getting auto kills from this guy, though. 
We got auto kills for two fucking bombs. Or those pink fobby things. Not this goddamn cockroach. My god, the controller is also slippery as well. I blame the hot weather. I like how the music actually fades out when we're inside the cave. I want to say fade out, it's kind of like, um, like, uh, lower. The volume's like lowered or something like that. Okay, it didn't work on me. Whew. I'm not sure if this soda is keeping me hydrated or not, but probably best not to think about it. Alright, how far are we until we get to the bottom? I don't think it's a long trip, hopefully, so we should be perfectly fine. God damn! The alligator is going after us too. What? We auto kill? Okay, I'll take that. Oh, but the alligator didn't. Oh, I think because the alligator didn't get um go with our battle enough or our, for um a good amount of time. That's why um we didn't kill him either. Whatever. Uh, we um auto kill these ants at least, so that's something. All right, so that's gonna make our journey a lot more easier when we pass through them. Especially since the ants actually have some fucking balls and decide to kill us. Um, I think we're fine on butterflies. I got a little bit damaged, so I guess I could use the healing on myself. Alright, awesome. Don't worry, butterfly, you're safe with us. Awesome. Um... More butterflies, why not? Everything about this game just has a happy, good feeling. Like kids going on it at their own adventure. I could see what PBG was talking about when it keeps on spouting the word ADVENTURE all the time every time he plays Legend of Zelda. But try to think of the context of Earthbound. This is basically what Earthbound is. Is the whole adventure ho type of thing and just having a blast going through- what the fuck? Just having a blast going through it. And also helps that this game was also a whole lot of fun too. Well, third sounds a lot different now. I guess the zombie hordes are gone. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to third. Thanks. Peace. Love. I really didn't think those kids could save the town. Who would ever imagined it? Since the leader of the monster is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. Oh shit, awesome. Alright. So now we're able to go back to, um, uh, Tuosan as well. Yes, I know it's pronounced Tucson, but who gives a shit, honestly? <laughs> Alrighty. Orange kids here. Okay. So now we could go to the desert, past the desert, and go to Foreside. Uh, how do I oh, up there, okay. So yeah, everything seems to be at peace and property here. Uh, we haven't saved in a while though, so we gotta be careful. Ooh, excuse me. There's a hotel here. We shall go in. And talk to our dad. We should also talk to our mom in case we um become homesick. Hello, hello, is this base? I can hardly hear you. It sounds like you're calling from the moon or something. If you're doing okay, that's great. Listen, I have to get going. I have to give Kenya a flea bath. Bye. Okay. Kenya's the, de uh, the dog. <laughs> Not the dad, the dog. I to put ten thousand. Oh my God, Dad, you are. God damn. You are honestly. I feel like you're spoiling me, Dad. It's great that you're giving me this much money, and it's probably because you're rich as fuck or something. But kind of calm down on the money thing a little bit, please. I'm grateful and all, but this can't be good parenting. I thought this was a bad guy for some reason. Oh, he was inside the thing, being scared to death from the zombie invasion, I guess. Um, so, uh, Foresight, and really, I am saying the, th the name pronunciation correctly, right? It is Foresight, right? It's not like Foresee Day or something like that, right? I, I think. I mean, there's really not much ways you could mispronounce Foresight, is there? I mean, third, you could mispronounce from three. Twosan, I just said that, and there's also the whole on it and one net thing. And as for foresight, really, how can you fucking mispronounce that word? Um, but yeah, anyways, we're in the desert now. Is that KKK member? I saw, like, a happy, happy blue guy. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, well. Alright, follow the green brick road. Or green pavement road. Or how, how far we are 
from the desert. So the ghost is gone, that's good. Isn't, um, the runway 5 going to forest side as well? Whoa. This sounds like a fucking alien thing. Are we in, like, Area 54? Oh my god, are we sweating? Sounds like we're sweating every time we go to the, um, the sandy area. DRUGS! <laughs> No problem here! Just some drugs! That's it, it's just drugs! Kids, you shouldn't be in here buying drugs! Um, what do you have? Seems like you just have- Oh, I only have two bucks. Is there an ATM machine? Yes, there is, okay. Alright, what do you sell here? Mr. Baseball Bat, we definitely need that. Coin of Slumber, we- Seems like we need that, too. Alright, so... $3,000 plus 500. 3500 basically. Alright. Withdrawal. Yeah, we got plenty of money. We're perfectly, <laughs> we're perfectly fine. All right. Awesome. Let's buy some shit. And that's a black phone too. Surprisingly, it's in a, a store shop too. Because usually when, uh, during stores, it's a green phone, right? But I guess they found it useless considering how it's only like one buck. Oh shit. Fuck. Okay. Alright, let's sell some things then. Oh, we should definitely star store some things as well. We don't need the Jar of Honey Fly anymore, do we? Alright, I have an idea. Ice Cargo Express. Alright. And 18 bucks, right? Seventeen, close enough. <laughs> right now, I just have to wait for the guy to go into this whole unholy desert. There's a bus stop, apparently. I'm guessing that leads to um third and whatever. All right, delivery is eighteen. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Take up to three things. Uh, take this jar of honey fly. What else do we not need? We don't need a calorie stick or a sun pill, do we? Yeah, let's take those out. What about everyone else, though? Longin' laser. Hmm. The rust promoter, actually, yeah. I'm gonna need you back later on, though, but for now, I think it's best to for us to sell some things and store some things later on, so... Yeah, let's buy some things right now. Bye! Mr. Baseball Bat. Definitely equip it to 100. Fuck yeah! All right. All right. What else do we need? The coin of slumber, which costs holy shit. All right, that's fine though. Yep. All right, we also need to sell the hard hat from Marvin as well. Equip. Yeah. Well, that red weapon was a waste that we just... Okay. Hold on. Yes. Sell. Where's the hard hat? There you are. Is there anything else we need to sell? Oh, shit. What else is there? Uh, we do need these four things. Sudden Guts Pill. How much is that? I right, sure. I don't think we need any of those sudden, like, any of those items. Secure of Horrible Life, I definitely do still need that. Well then, unless Cora dies, which we should probably buy more of those, actually, huh? Rust Promoter, let's get rid of that. How many fucking... Two. We need two fucking items that Marvin needs to fix, and he's not doing it. Holy shit. Do your goddamn job, man. Uh, we got two defense sprays. We can just sell those. Shit, no. Not buy. I don't think we need to buy anything else. Yeah, defense sprays, I think they're just hogging up the space. And we don't really need any defense ups, do we? And... Yeah, I think we're fine for now. Let's deposit all our money back. 
I don't think we need to um call sis again. How much do we have? One, three, eight, one. All right. All right. A long journey to uh, Forest Side. Here we go. Although I think this bus stop might go for us. Due to traffic, bus service has been temporarily suspended. Damn it. God damn. So we had to walk our way there. Shit. What about you guys? What about him? Is this a traffic jam? Welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam. Is this why? I feel sorry for the guys behind me. I'm so bent. I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. I heard that a little ways ahead, I heard the buffaloes is running across the road. I can't move an inch. Uh, neither can I. Uh, well, if we could. Oh, you. Well, fuck, how do we get past this predicament? Is there, like, a way over where? Like, that area? I feel like that might be it. This feels like it might be it. Dead end. This, I, I feel like this is the right path, right? To get past the traffic? Why would you? Shh, don't talk too loud! What do you want? Oh shit, hello! A zip gun for uh, Marvin. 424, alright. Alright, 425? I'll take 500 just in case. Hold on a minute. Hey, drugs! I need... yeah. We got plenty of money, I don't care if we lose that much. We lose very little anyways. Alright. Uh, we don't need... yeah. Alright, give me the zip gun. Seems like a useful weapon, right? And are those enemies? I think that might be an enemy. Well, who else? The one that could actually equip it. By four. We can't sell this damn thing? Wait, hold on a minute. The zip gun. Magnum America. We, we can't sell the air- what the hell? Well, I guess we could sell it, but... Yeah. Take this goddamn- forget it, I don't want to buy that- really? Fuck you! Fine. Uh, so I was well this guy. So I could fight him. It's gonna be an auto grind anyways. Gain 152, please. <gasps> Mr. Monkey! Kick, 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 welcome! Ki, 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 ki. Our paradise beneath is that hole. Really? Uh, do we need the pack of bubblegum now? <laughs> These guys are running away. I know they're no, they're scared. All right. Kick, 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 kick. Tali Rama is now fasting now and. Practicing silent medication. He is also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly too. Please don't bother him. Ugh. I don't think we can progress forward. Monkey, do not trap me in here. All right. Uh. Oh fuck! A mushroom just spawned too. These guys are fucking scared of us. Of course, they have the right to the to get scared of us. So what the fuck is that? A dinosaur? Crested Bucca? Oh, whatever, I'm... yeah, that. And uh, that. And there's now a cute little UFO. What's this thing? A Crested Bucca. Three. Well, it's understandable. I mean, fire. They're already hot as fuck, so it doesn't really matter. Offense is that. Defense is that. Open to hypnosis. Bag of fries. Okay. That's it, just hypnosis. Alright. So prize doesn't work on the cute little butterfly, of course. How silly of me. Fire beam 40, shit! Come on, kill the booker! There we go. Now kill the little UFO. I'm pretty sure it's like the same thing as the other UFO, right? Just more powerful, I guess. Alright. Ooh, that's a little scary. But hey, we made it through. So that was a close one. Uh, what's next? Ooh, butterfly. Ay, 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 I'm a little butterfly. Yellow, brown, and black is the color, not the sky. <laughs> well... So what's this bubble thing? 
I got a slimy sphere. Got some interesting music. Skelpian shit. That looks dangerous. All right, so fire doesn't seem to work. Let's try freezing them. Oh fuck! I probably should have spied on them actually. Make things more easier on us. 10 HP. It doesn't seem like it's impervious to uh, freezing issues. Oh shit! Damn. Done already. Fire! This can't be good. Okay, let's try bashing him. It does fire and it's vulnerable to fire. Interesting. Explode into bits! What? What? Ow! Fuck, so that thing is basically the oak tree of this area. Shit, I gotta make sure I avoid him at all costs then, right? God damn. I don't think this is gonna be enough. No, it's not. Oh, it's close to enough at least. God damn. That hurts! 200 fucking damage! Jesus fuck! Uh, can I go here? No, it doesn't look like you go there. Oh, hey, treasure chest. A double hamburger! Awesome! Oh, wait, sis, let me drink the water of the. Doesn't seem to work. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. I could always starve to death in this godforsaken ocean of sand! Oh, fuck, it's these things again. Alright, at least the scorpion's easy to kill, right? Alright, let's have him deal with that, and everyone else deal with the UFO. Attacks 15 damage. Yeah, the scorpion doesn't seem to be that bad. Yeah, nice job wasting your fucking life up on a useless enemy. No, you usually use life up when you get damaged, not when you're full of HP. Yeah, I can be a uh, pretty bit dead, of course. Got pizza. Ooh. Cup of life noodles inside. Awesome. So is that also a revive spell thing? I think it is. <gasps> what the hell? What's a stray dog doing here? This looks like a news. Oh my god, a desert wolf! Okay, that looks frightening. And scary. Loud piercing noise. Alright. Alright, the desert wolf. Oh. <laughs> oh no, his name is Desert Storm, not Desert Wolf. That's our collab name. <laughs> oh, how funny. Rumble to freeze and fire. Got it. Alright. Biting attack on 40. Not bad, not bad. Didn't even use our freezing attack yet. Okay, friends gained that much, okay. So I gotta be careful of that desert wolf. More present- wait, hold on, were we getting damaged? I think it's because of the desert? Yeah, so Korra is getting- okay. Let's hope this works. Sunstroke is cured, okay, so we get sunstroke. That's a problem. There's this glowy thing. Something shiny. Is a set of contact lens. Cora got contact lens. Okay. What's this thing? Lost a pair of contact lens here in Dusty Dunes Desert. They were a memento from my grandma and very important to me. You find them, bring me, and I'll. I'm Pentella Giovanni. Find me at Foresight Bakery, second floor. Got it! Foresight Bakery, second floor. We got contact lens, baby. Alright, now where's this Foresight area, though? And how to get- to Oh my god, that looks like a big enemy that I want to avoid. That seems scary, alright. PSI caramel inside, awesome, Marvin takes it. We're gonna have to use our items eventually, of course. In fact, let's use that right now! Um... I need a healing. She kinda needs a healing. Alright, yeah, let's eat. Let me eat some pizza, the uh... 131, perfect. Alright, let's kill the desert wolf again. Although, now that I have- Oh no, the boar's gonna- Okay, good, the boar doesn't come after us. Alright. Dodged. Freeze. I don't think it's gonna kill, I don't think. Not enough. There we go! Alright, Foresight Bakery, second floor. Got it. We got our contact lens so we could easily return it. Although, what is its description exactly? Drop? No! It must belong to someone. That's it, okay. Uh, more... Thanks. There's a sun guts pill inside. Base takes it. We're gonna sell that immediately, anyways. All right, there we go. At least Jeff uh, looked it, just in case. All right. 
So far, everything seems to be perfectly fine. For ease. These two are gonna kill him off. Or one of them. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm getting really worried. In fact, thinking about this whole desert situation makes me even hotter myself. Oh my god, stop sweating, base! Stupid hot weather. Alright, here we are. Da -da. Are we at Forest Side yet so I can take a break? Possibly continue playing and practicing the guitar? Looks like we're at Forest Side, actually, yeah. Are we? We're at a bridge of some sort. Walking the way through. Walking my way downtown. Walking fast. Something, something. The lyrics in here. <laughs> What's that song again? I just remember that from. I just remember that song from White Chicks. I don't know what the, exactly the song name or song singer of the song. I'm not sure who the singer is. It might be Ashley Tisdale or Ashley Simpson. I'm not sure. Um, what is this? Traffic? Danger. No, stay in the street! Read the schedule for a sidewalk. Um, alright, don't stand on the street, got it. Stand on the sidewalk instead. Is this Forsyth? This looks like... Hotel. Montreal Grand Hotel. $75 per night in a single room. Is this Forsyth? The city of Forsyth has developed quite a bit. Alright, yeah, this is Forsyth. Alright, awesome! We'll be right back, and then we're gonna travel the entire area. Possibly find the bakery on the second floor. Stay tuned for the next part, guys!